In 1998, James Thompson pronounced that he had isolated human embryonic stem cells in the laboratory. At last, these powerful cells were within the grip of scientists to experiment with, understand, and develop into fixes for the things that go wrong. Clichés are worn out, overused and overfamiliar phrases, and the etymology of the word helps to explain this. Originally, a cliché or a stereotype was a printer's term for a preset block of type with phrases used frequently in the newspapers. The word has since adopted a negative meaning and careful writers avoid them where they can. The medical center issued a statement saying that patient care was not compromised while their data was unavailable. Still, it's unsettling to hear that the hospital is shut out of parts of its own computer systems and unable to communicate electronically.
Cooking certainly tenderizes food, making it easier to chew and digest, but evidence for human cooked fires goes back only about 500,000 years, if that. Homo erectus had already evolved weaker jaws and smaller teeth more than a million years before that. So Lieberman and his colleague Catherine Zink began their investigation by recreating a Paleolithic dinner – yams, carrots, beets, and goat meat. In order to achieve the free flow of goods and services, with work and capital between the member countries, they needed to establish mutual politics in areas as diverse as agriculture, transport, and working conditions. When they had agreed on these policies, they became legal. Now, though, the EU is concerned with a far wider range of issues. Dolphins have adopted group living as a response to living in close contact with other animals in the ocean, some of which kill dolphins for food. Living in social groups makes it easier to hunt for food and, in a dangerous environment, it makes sense in terms of safety to move about in large numbers.
stem cells are the body's master cells, the rare material from which we are built. Unlike normal body cells, they can reproduce an indefinite number of times and, when manipulated in the right way, can turn themselves into any sort of cell in the body. The most versatile stem cells are those found in the embryo at just a few days old. This ball of a few dozen stem cells eventually goes on to form everything that makes up a human. When the European Economic Community was established in 1957, its aim was, in broad terms, to move towards closer political and economic cooperation. Today, the much bigger European Union has a far-reaching importance on many aspects of our lives, from the conditions we work under, to the safety standards we must adhere to, and the environment in which we live. Aldina Franco of the University of East Anglia is one of the scientists who has studied the Stokes' use of landfills in Portugal. GPS tracking devices on 17 birds showed that the landfill life might mean up to 100 km round trips to fit healthy distances, but far shorter than their historic migration routes.
The researchers think that this kind of coordination might have evolved because woodpeckers invest so much time and energy carving out their nest hole in a tree. If they were kicked out and had to start over, they might not get a chance to reproduce and fledge their offspring. The Roman state was tested almost to destruction by the defeated Cannae by the Carthaginians led by Hannibal, and according to the historian Polybius it was only what he called the peculiar virtues of the Roman constitution that allowed it to survive this crisis. What we experience is processed by the brain into memories in three stages. First, there is sensory input, which is momentary. This is then stored in the short-term memory. If this experience is important or meaningful to us, we will reinforce the memory, possibly by repetition, and it will then be stored in the long-term memory.
Florida's Everglades are home to lots of large wading birds like egrets and herons, but the glades also have lots of raccoons and possums. For the mammals, the birds' nests are an all-you-can-eat buffet, and when an invasion occurs, sometimes thousands of birds will abandon their nests and leave, and there is littered remains of dead chicks and eggs that have been eaten, stated Lucas Nell, an ecologist at the University of Georgia. But the connection does suggest your photos and social media posts can be used for more than bragging about brunch. Sharing this data could be so valuable for academic research. We can actually use this data to do something good in the world, like giving local organizations and urban planners a better look at how and why cities change. All you've got to do is to add a few tags. The audio, which includes more than 1,000 separate data files, was captured in the early 1970s by the late Hedy Van Wright. She recorded the various screams, barks, and how calls made by a group of chimps, including 17 youngsters, living in the Gum National Park in Tanzania. <laughs> 